Well, welcome everyone to a, a new uh, idea of mine. Um, I've decided to reveal some of my um, items to do with Aylesbury that I've either bought or have uh, been given to me. Uh, mostly been bought actually. But uh, this one arrived yesterday and it's a photograph album dating from 1927 and uh, apparently it shows floods that year. Now I haven't seen this so oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought. Let's put that to one side. Ah, oh, the dreaded cling film. Snapshots. So what have we got here? Well that says uh, Floods Oxford Road. Oh that's the railway line. Oh I see. Uh, well I would assume then that's probably taken from the, the bridge. Um, <laughs> my god. So the bit in the foreground is uh, where Vale House is and the bit beyond is uh, what was then called, uh, uh, what was it, Brook House or Brook Cottage and there's a little hotel there. So it's dated 29th of January 1927. Yeah, very interesting. Um, so the one on the left I don't know, presumably that's Oxford Road again because the other one is uh, near Tame, it says. <laughs> I have a hard job to find out where that's taken from. Near Tame again. Blimey. Yeah, well, it could be anywhere along the Oxford Road, couldn't it? Down by Cuddington or uh, along there somewhere. Uh, oh, now we've, uh, we've moved to Bedford. River Ouse on the left, 1928, and the Avon Gorge at Bristol on the right, February 1929. The French destroyer, what does that say? S Spithead? Uh, on the right, <laughs> yeah. It's a barrage balloon by the looks of it, July 1930. Dartmouth, 1930. Oh, on the right we have the Willows, Buckingham Road, Aylesbury, 1928. The Willows. I wonder if that's um, at the top of Willow Road, because I know there were some uh, houses there, but long since gone. It's a retirement cottages and um, apartments there now. Yeah, look at that all covered in ivy as well. Very posh residence. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Handford, whoever that is, 1928. So underneath you'll see there's another stack of photographs. Let's do these. What have we got here? Beerton. Well, that looks like Great Lane. Very faded. That was so often prone to flooding and probably still is. Looks like even water, water gushing out the side there on the left. Or is that. Uh, it might be snow. Uh, flood. Oh, that's that one from Tame again. Near Tame. Better exposure on that one. Flood Tame Road, 1927. Ah, oh, that's the that's the Oxford Road one again from the bridge. Uh, 
is this one. July 19th, oh, that's the um, barrage balloon again. Not sure where that's taken from. Flood. And that's the Oxford Road one again, near Tame. Recognise that. And again, Flood. So we've got duplicates, which isn't bad, because sometimes you get one that's maybe not in focus or badly exposed or the uh, fixer solution hasn't uh, worked very well and faded over time. So there we are. Yeah. Cute little book, isn't it? Very uh, Art Deco. Fit in the pocket nice and easily. Yeah, that's a lot better, that, uh, that one I've got there. Where is it? Yeah, so if I'm going to scan them in, it will be the one on the uh, the upper one there. Yeah, so these would have been probably um, the actual size of the negative. Uh, and they would just lay them on the photographic paper. The, um, with a light above and expose it like that so you get a nice uh, sharp image normally unless the camera is not very good at focusing but the great lane at Beerton I'm poor I don't know if I'll be able to get a decent scan of that but we'll see wonders sometimes uh, can be produced from these detail can be brought back from really faded photographs sometimes well, that was interesting. Yeah. Well, next time then, I'll um, I'll show you something that I've already got. Um, I've got lots of photograph albums and postcards and uh, other interesting little curiosities from various places around the town. So yeah, it's been uh, been an interesting little uh, reveal. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time.